Hi everyone, my name is Jackson and welcome to the first episode of Point Blank Bootcamp. This video series will help to teach you everything you need to know to improve your skill at Point Blank. For this first episode, we'll be covering the basics of the game and how to play, as well as all the information you'll need to know to improve your scores. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. The first and most important aspect of the game to learn is how the scoring works. Now, each playthrough of Point Blank will consist of 16 regular stages, one bonus stage, and one final stage. So these 18 levels are all you'll get in a single run. And maximizing the score you get on each level is key to getting a big score. Now I've paused the video here to show you the three stats that go towards your level score. As you can see, they are shown at the top right here. Now they are hits, which is a count of how many targets you hit in the level. The next is hit percentage, which will show you your accuracy. And lastly, quick shot, which is a count of how fast your shots were that hit targets. Now I know we're only a minute into the first video here, but understanding how these scores work is the most important thing you need to do to get started on this. If you don't understand how these scores work, you're not going to understand why you're getting scores you do and how to improve them. Part of what I did when I was learning how to play this game and how to best my scores was exactly how each individual level scored and how to make it better. Now in this stage for the first category hit, I hit 29 targets and as you can see that gave me a score of 5800 points for that category. Now each level will give you a set amount of points per correct target. And the correct target is just what the level wants you to shoot. For example, red, blue targets, gangsters, ninjas, tanks, asteroids, apples, leaves, and so on. By looking at how many targets you hit and what the score is, you can actually work out how many points you get for each target. So for this one, 5800 divided by 29 is 200, which means I get 200 points for each target that I hit in that stage for the hit category. Also just a note that there are some targets and levels that won't count towards your target quota, but will still give you points for hitting them. I'll go more into this in a video later, but some examples are the glass in the matching up of stuffed animals level, the little um, chicken shaped thing at the top right of the ch um, chicken shooting level, uh, glass windows, pretty much anything that does a reaction on screen if you shoot it will count as a hit but I won't count towards your quota, but you can certainly get points for it, and some levels are worth shooting them. But this is very in-depth, so I'll go more into this at a later date. The next category is probably the easiest to understand, and that is hit percentage, which I'll just call accuracy from here on. So accuracy is just the count of how many shots you fired divided by how many targets you hit. In this stage, I shot 29 times and I hit 29 times, so I get 100% accuracy. So from getting 100% accuracy, the game gave me 2,000 points. Now if you get exactly 100% accuracy, so you do what I did where you shoot, every single shot you shoot hits a target and only one target, you'll get 100% accuracy. If you get 100% accuracy, you'll get 2,000 points. Say you were to fire 20 shots and hit 19 of them, that would give you, what is it, 95% accuracy. Now the way the scoring for that works is if you get 95%, it'll times that by 10 and give you 950 points. If you get 90%, you'll get 900 points. If you get 70%, you'll get 700 points all the way down. Now the reason I got 2,000 points is if you get 100% accuracy, the game will give you a bonus 1,000 points. And that is significant. And often you'll see, if you ever watch any of my videos of me playing, there are many, many levels where I will focus on accuracy and try my best to not miss a shot to gain that extra 1,000 points. And also, that 1,000 points will also be counted in the final stage, even if it doesn't tell you how it calculated it. And the last category is Quick Shot. So Quick Shot is quite complicated, so I'll just give a general overview for this one. And that is, the quicker you shoot the targets that appear on screen, the more points you get. So on average for this one, I shot every target half a second after it appeared, and that gave me 913 points. So quick shot doesn't usually give you that many bonus points, and I don't think it's as important to focus on as accuracy, but it depends on the level, and I'll go more into that again at a later date when I go into each individual level and how to play them. You still with me? Oh, thank God. Okay, so that's the boring stuff out of the way. Again, boring, but important. 
please do your best to understand this. If you don't understand it, you won't progress very far. It is important. Now the next aspect I'm going to focus on is your shooting style. And that is pretty much how you hold the gun, how you point at the screen, where your feet are, what your finger does on the trigger, and everything associated with that. So for this one I'm going to give you a full rundown of how I do it. But do note that this is my personal preference and if you want to change it or feel comfortable with a different method, that is more than fair enough and you do what feels comfortable for you. I'm just going to tell you what works for me. And if you want to use that, go for it. If you don't, you do you. Now, don't mind my dorky video here of me holding the gun, but this is just a good way to show my method. So, I hold it with my right hand, covering from the bottom of it with my index finger in the you know, trigger, with my left hand grabbing underneath my other hand on top of it for stability. Now, my right hand is almost dead straight from where my shoulder is and that's sort of the stabilizing hand that's where a lot of my accuracy will come from and the left hand is yeah, pretty much just there for stabilizing just to make sure just to make it easier to flick around and aim so as you can see there it's almost dead straight my my right hand and the left hand's elbow bent and just sort of holding it in place again don't mind a dorky video showing my feet but the stance is also important too so if you're a right-hander like me, you sort of want to have your left foot forward facing the machine with your right foot a bit further back on a bit of an angle away from it. That's the most comfortable it feels to me, especially with the way I hold my hands. And if you want to do that and see how that works, that's what I'd recommend. And obviously if you're a left-hander, everything just goes in reverse. So holding the right hand stable with the left, right foot forward, left foot back a bit on an angle. And that feels most comfortable for me and seems to work most effectively. So that's all the medial boring stuff out of the way. So for the last half of this video, I'm just going to show through a run through I did on beginner when I was recording and getting everything ready for this bootcamp series. And so I'm just going to do a bit of commentary and explain my thought process for how I went about it. So, sorry, missed the first stage, which was a single firing one. This is the uh, rapid fire car shooting one. Uh, essentially, I'm moving around the car there because the more different targets you hit, the more points you get, even if you don't have full accuracy which you'll notice here, I think I got yeah, 92%, but 5,000 points for hits and only 60 hits is a, is a lot for that stage. Uh, this is the target shooting one. It's a good fun one. It always goes middle one target and then three of the four corners will be targets. When I'm doing this one, I'll shoot the middle one and then I'll look sort of the top in the middle between the, where the two next targets will appear and I'll keep a close eye out for where the bomb appears. If the bomb appears in the top, in either left or right, I'll quickly move my gun to the other side and then go to the bottom. And if the tar targets only appear, if there's a bomb down the bottom, then it's very easy to tell where it is and you just shoot the top and get the bottom one and then rinse and repeat. Uh, this is a criminal level and this is a fun one because this will explain how accuracy can be more than 100%. So because this stage has both criminals and windows and shooting one of them with a window still there will count as two hits from one shot. So every time I shoot a criminal and it's through a glass, that's two shot. That's two hits, one shot. And so I'm playing through this as normal. It's just standard reaction sh time shooting. Just make sure you don't shoot the civilians. And you'll see here that I got a 158% accuracy, which gave me 1,580 points. Now that's actually less points than 100% accuracy because of the way it calculates it. But it's very, very hard to get 100% accuracy on that with windows involved. So just disregard it. For this stage, uh, I'm showing off you can get extra targets by shooting uh, Dr. Dan here. So he does. He has a reaction, he says, ouch, every time you shoot him, that counts as a hit. It won't give you as many points as shooting the uh, what are they, eagles, or however you call them, but it's worth it on beginner because there's not many targets to shoot, and that's so 21 targets, but look how many hits I got. 89. So 6,500 points from that, which, which came from shooting Dan a lot more times. Alright, UFO very hard, just quick flick. Try not to miss. That's all it is. The quicker you shoot, the more points you get. Chicken's fun, it's just pure reaction time shooting. So I'm just going to stop talking and buy this one. Just a quick note though. Uh, I was mentioning earlier of an extra target you can hit. That top right little, um, what's it, like a sundial thing with the arrow pointing on it. If you shoot that, it counts as a hit. I've done different experiments on this level and I found that shooting it just does not give you any benefits so don't bother. Just shoot the birds as quickly as possible and as, accurate as accurately as you can. 
Alright, this one's no moving targets, so just quick shooting. And try not to miss again. This is at an accuracy important level. Bonus stage is the bane of every single player's existence because to get a high score you need to get the correct chest. And there are four chests. And as much as there's sort of certain methods and ways you can maybe determine if one's more likely than the other, it it is just luck. And the amount of times I've had a good run, got to the bonus stage, got the wrong chest, and then had to restart, I I could not tell you. It is probably the most frustrating thing about the whole game. Uh, this one is a stage that I like and a lot of people don't. And the easiest way to shoot the dragon is to work out its path because it always zigzags in like a back and forth infinity shape left and right and you just want to follow the head and not miss. This is my favourite level the octopus and you also notice I'm shooting the little hermit crab that appears every second or two down the bottom. Every time you shoot that hermit crab when it appears that's 300 points and I've so from trial and error and practicing I determined that shooting that hermit crab is very beneficial as long as you can still pass the level. So I shot it about eight times and I got an extra so 300 points per one, that's about 2,400 points I got just from shooting that hermit crab during that stage. And look how many points I got, 10,900 is huge. Another target shooting level, there's no wrong targets and you can always tell where they are. So just try and shoot them and try not to miss. And also you may notice I miss a few in this. It's not actually me missing, it's that my machine has a blind spot towards the bottom left corner. So occasionally you'll see me miss ones near the bottom left corner, sort of where that press button thing is. And that's just old arcade machines. They have often have blind spots and you just got to have to deal with it. And I dealt with it as best I could. Ah, the, bur the bird's level coloured one is very frustrating. This one is very hard, especially if you're playing on the very hard difficulty because r incorrect colours and bombs can just pop out of nowhere and ruin your whole run if you shoot one of them. So, yeah. Have fun with this one. I, I hate it and I always will, I think. <laughs> but I did well on that one. 31 targets. And, uh, yeah, did miss target one. So that's a pretty good score for that level 8,400. That's probably what helped this run. Uh, what are we starting with here? Yes. So this is another level that has an extra target that you can shoot for bonus points. And that is the, the lights that light up as the targets come up. You can shoot them and they'll count as hits. I find that you really just want to focus on the targets because pure reaction time and shooting it will create more targets appear because the quicker you fire the ones that appear the quicker more can appear and it's just not worth your time trying to go for the extra targets on that one because the score you get is just not worth it. And 9,500 points as you can tell I only shot targets then that's a very good score. Ninjas. Now you might want to try and focus on accuracy for this one. I don't personally because Often you'll miss one because you're, you're going to be shooting, you know, 50, 60 targets. Odds are, if you're trying to shoot them as fast as you can, you're going to miss one. And also, shooting them faster will make more appear. And so, if you take, took your time with 100% accuracy, you actually still might get less points than if you went really fast and shot an extra 7, 8 targets. So, just shoot. Just hit as many as you can and get a big score like that. Uh, yes, the boat one. So shoot the vultures. This is just leading him into it. Just shoot them as the boat's going towards it. Try and, you know, make them... The higher they are, the earlier you can shoot them because they have more drop time. If they're hovering straight over the boat, just shoot them instantly, though. And as you can tell, I'm taking my time. And also, I'm trying not to miss a vulture as well to make sure I get that 100% accuracy, which I believe I did in this stage. So that was 25, which is very good. And did I get 100% accuracy? I did, so that's... A very large score, nearly 10,000, which is huge. And last target shooting one, this one's just get your first shot in and don't move your arms. And if your first shot's on, on point, just don't move and keep shooting. And if it's slightly off, then just make small adjustments and keep shooting. Don't worry too much about quick shot. It's not that big a deal. Just try and get 600 points on that one to get a big score. And now for the final stage. You'll notice I start in the bottom left and I'll just sort of follow the targets around and make, try not to miss. If you do miss in this one, I would not recommend trying to keep shooting that same one and then move on. I recommend going through that entire formation that I did, so starting in the bottom left to the right and then top right to top left. And if you do miss any, 
keep keep going along those lines and then eventually come back and shoot any you might have missed at the very end. You'll find that to be more effective than stopping, shooting the one you missed, and then getting back into the rhythm of shooting the rest of them. Keep that rhythm throughout, and if you miss any, catch them quickly at the end with that last half second, second you'll have left if you, do, if you shoot them pretty quickly. So a fun thing when I was recording this, as you'll, you'll tell right now, is I got a very good score from that. Currently my world record officially is 217,896 I believe, and I just scored a 221,000 there. That was just pure luck and having a good run and yeah, it's a good way to showcase how a really good run can go on beginner. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed this first video and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment. I'll make sure to make more of them if there's enough interest and I really enjoyed making this and I hope that anyone who wants to get involved in point blank and improving their scores enjoys this and gets into it. Other than that, 